what's not been as understood, uh, and what I'm going to focus on today, is, is the extent to which uh, the fact that these are three ways of being effective uh, also means that they work together. And uh, the major theme of this book, actually, in terms of how motivation works, is to point out it's not only that there are three ways of being effective, it's the fact that they work together, that there's an organization of effectiveness. And, and it's this part that excited me most uh, in writing the book, to talk about the relations among these ways of being effective. How does truth work with control? How does control work with value? How does value work with truth? How do they all work together? Uh, and that's the part that I think is the most important, uh, if, if anything, contribution of the book uh, in terms of going beyond uh, pleasure and pain, in terms of understanding motivation. The fact that these three ways of being effective work together, the fact that they interrelate, uh, has many implications, but one of the implications uh, that I'm going to concentrate on today is the fact that because of that, there's always the possibility of spillover. Uh, there's always the possibility that one way of being effective can spill over onto another. And what that means is that, is that when you're being effective in truth, it can actually spill over and change value. And when you're effective in control, it can spill over and affect value. So value ends up psychologically, motivationally, not being independent of truth and control. Uh, and not being independent in, in a way that, that generally has been uh, underlooked. Uh, and, and one way in which this plays out is that uh, when you're being effective in truth or you're being effective in control, it changes how strongly engaged you are in what you're doing. So, so being involved in being effective in truth, being involved in being effective in control, uh, strengthens your engagement in your goal pursuit, strengthens your engagement in your decision making. And strength of engagement itself affects value. Uh, it intensifies value. So if you are responding to something from a value point of view as positive, then stronger engagement intensifies that and makes it even more positive. If when you're engaging something, you experience it as negative, then stronger engagement intensifies that and you experience it as even more negative. And, and if you just, for this example, think about hedonism, uh, approaching pleasure and avoiding pain, it has the property of, of providing direction. Is it uh, approaching pleasure or avoiding pain? And it has intensity, which is how much pleasure, how much pain. And so these kinds of properties are always, these kinds of uh, sources of value always have direction and intensity. Uh, they have both. But, what, but the interesting thing about this particular construct, engagement strength, is that it only impacts intensity. Okay, so the important part of this model is it says that how strongly engaged you are in something will ultimately intensify your experience of value. So if something, if, if you're pursuing a goal or you're making a decision and you're strongly engaged in it, then if what you're focusing on is something that you consider positive, then that strong engagement will make it even more positive. If, if what you're focusing is negative, it'll make it even more negative. It doesn't create valence. It doesn't create direction. It doesn't make something positive or negative. What it does is, is intensify. And I believe that precisely because it has only an effect on intensity and not on direction, it has been overlooked. Because all of the other sources, like hedonic pleasure and pain, is always providing both direction and intensity. So if you say, where does value come from? Saying hedonism, pleasure and pain, is a much more obvious answer because it provides both direction and intensity. If you say where value comes from, engagement, that doesn't sound like a very good answer because it doesn't provide direction. <laughs>